Charlotte housing prices have dropped for the first time in almost a year. Hi guys, my name is Josh and I'm with the Finnegan Group and this past 30 days have been a whirlwind. We've seen a lot of pivotal changes and it's affecting the overall economy and also the real estate market. We're officially in a recession and we saw the Federal Reserve raise interest rates by 75 basis points. And this is the first time we've seen the average sales price in Charlotte drop this year. So today we're going to quickly look at what's going on in our backyard here in Charlotte, North Carolina, as it pertains to the real estate market, getting a quick update on what happened here in July, how it compares to what happened previously, and how we can identify what we may see happen here moving forward. Before diving into what exactly happened last month here in the Charlotte real estate market, we definitely want to highlight two pivotal events that happened in the past 30 days that will affect our market moving forward. The first event is we are now technically in a recession. A recession is defined by two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. Even though we've recently seen the news that politicians are trying to change the definition of a recession, the consensus among economists is two consecutive quarters of GDP decline. The the second event is in July, the Federal Reserve raised their interest rate by 75 basis points, bringing the federal prime rate to 225 to 2.5%. We won't dive too deep into how this decision will affect our real estate market because I know we've been chatting a lot about that throughout this year because it has been affecting the market. However, we did shoot a video and I'll put the link right here, diving deep into this decision and how it will affect our real estate market. So July was definitely a pivotal month with a lot going on. I know this entire year has been defined by rapidly increasing interest rates and we've seen and discussed this in previous videos how that's affected the real estate market and how we're starting to see those stress fractures in our market. So let's go ahead and jump in and see how it's affecting our Charlotte real estate market. What well, better way to start than looking at the amount of new listings we saw hit the market. In July, we saw 1,744 new listings come onto our local market, which is a 14% decrease from the amount of new listings we saw back in June. It was actually a 10% decrease from the amount of new listings we saw in July of 2021. In July, 1,270 homes accepted offers, which is a 6% decrease in in the amount of homes we saw accept offers back in June, and it was actually a 21% decrease in the amount of homes we saw accept offers back in July of 2021. And for those of you who watched our previous market update videos, you'll know that one of the things we've really focused on and one of the trends we've been tracking closely for the past couple of months is the amount of new listings we've seen compared to the amount of pending homes we've seen. And the reason is that's one of the first signs that you're gonna start seeing there may be a shift in the market. And over the past couple of months, we've seen the amount of new listings actually outpaced the amount of pending sales. And what that means is more homes are coming on the market than are accepting offers. So inventory will increase. And this month, we've seen that the difference between new listings and pending sales have jumped pretty exponentially. There was 34% new listings than there were pending sales. And if you've been searching for a home over the past year, year and a half, then you know it's been slim pickings. We've really had low numbers of inventory, not many homes to choose from. So the positive for the buyers is you're gonna have a few more options available to you. In July, we saw 1,251 homes close, which is a 19% decrease in the amount of homes we saw close in June. And it was a 25% decrease in the amount of homes we saw close in July of 2021. The average sales price in July was $502,000 which was a 5% decrease from the average sales price we saw just a month prior in June. However, it was still an 11% increase from the average sales price just a year earlier in July of 2021. So we're finally starting to see that average sales price get affected. Is the housing market softening? It is. Rising interest rates will do that to a housing market. However, one thing that you definitely want to keep in mind, even though we've seen a little bit of a sales price decrease this year, year over year, we are still up 11%, which is frankly still a strong number year over year. For you home sellers out there thinking about making a move, the market may be softer than it was a couple months ago because of the changes in the economy and the interest rate. However, you are still at one of the best times to sell that we've seen over the past 40 years. So it's definitely one thing you want to keep in mind. We saw a little bit of a decrease month over month, but you have still seen a ton of increase over the past couple years. And one thing you home sellers really want to pay attention to is that ratio from new listings to pending sales. We definitely saw a jump in the ratio of those two numbers, which means there's more homes coming on the market and less homes accepting offers, which means your competition will increase, 
which means you may see a little bit more softening coming here in the coming months. And for you home buyers out there, I feel your pain. I know that you've seen that monthly mortgage payment increase for the same priced home over this year as interest rates have increased rapidly. However, one silver lining is you're definitely going to see a little bit more options available for you, especially here moving forward. And you definitely may be able to negotiate a little bit where you really weren't able to in the first quarter, first half of this year. So could you ask for some closing costs? Could you ask for a little bit lower of a sales price? You may be able to. And one strong strategy is you can ask the seller to pay for some closing cost assistance for you and actually buy your rate down to actually pay for a lower interest rate. And for those of you who are considering buying or selling here in the near future, it's an extremely unique market. And there's a lot of factors affecting this real estate market. The question of, is it right for me to sell? Is it right for me to buy? The answer may be yes, the answer may be no, depending on your particular scenario. Would you be better set in holding off for a couple months? Possibly. Would you be better set on making a move sooner rather than later? That may also be true. It really depends on what you're looking to accomplish and your particular goals for you and your family. If you are considering either buying, selling, or investing in real estate here in the greater Charlotte area, please feel free to reach out to myself and my team. Give us a call, text us, carry your pigeon, whatever works best for you. I'd love to sit down with you and discuss your goals and see if now is a right time or if you may be better set to wait a little bit. I appreciate you being with us for a little bit today. If you liked the video, if you got some great information, please make sure you click that like button. It definitely shows us that you care. And don't forget to click that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any of our updates on the greater Charlotte area, the real estate market, and keeping you in the know moving forward in this crazy market. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great day.